What's up everyone and welcome to the club. In today's video, we'll be drawing the Travis Scott skin from Fortnite. Let's get started in the center of our page with the eyes. So we start on the left side and draw in a circle, starting from the very top. We'll work our way down towards the bottom of the circle and then back up towards the top. Now I'll leave a gap in the center and draw the same thing on the right. So we're going to line up the top of that circle. Just bring that down towards the same height and then back up towards the top. And now we're going to add a small highlight circle to the top left of each eye. So up against the edge of the eye. Bring this in and then back out. We'll line this up on the right and do the same thing. And we'll fill the outside of the eyes in black. Now we're going to move to the center and draw on the nose. Let's line up at the bottom edge of the eyes, move to the center, and I start on the left side. I'm going to draw a curve that comes down in the middle. And then back up on the right. Now we step up and draw a short curve in the opposite direction for the bridge of the nose. And now we're going to move down and draw on the mouth. Let's start back on the left, curve up in the middle, and then down on the right. Let's draw on the upper lip. In the center, we're going to step up, start with a point. From here, we're going to curve the lip going up and then down towards the left. Go back to the center, curve up, and then down on the right. And then we'll draw on the bottom lip, going back to the left, and we come down in the middle, and up on the right. Let's add a small bracket around the corners of the mouth. Starting on the left, we're going to step out, curve out, and then in, line this up on the right, and do the same thing. Now we're going to move out and draw the lower half of the head. Starting from the left eye, we're going to step out, we draw a large half circle, coming down underneath the mouth, round this out, and go out and up on the right. Now we're going to go all the way up to the top of the head in the center. We're going to start with a point. We're going to draw two braids coming down towards the side. Let's start with the one on the left. Starting from here, we're going to curve out and then down towards the outside of the left eye. Go back to the center, go out and down towards the right. Let's go back up to the top. We're going to round up the top of the braid and then taper that down towards the bottom. We're going to go up towards the left, come down the side. I'm just going to taper it so it gets thinner as you come in. And I'm just going to round out the bottom, coming down and then back up. Let's do the same thing on the right. Going back to the top, draw the curve going up towards the top of the braid. And then we'll taper this down towards the bottom. And we'll close off the bottom with a curve. Let's close off the side of the head. We're going to start back on the left side. We're going to bump out the side of the head going out and up. I'm just going to pull this in behind the braid. Sort of aiming toward the top center point. Let's line this up on the right and do the same thing. Going out, rounding up the side of the head, and then pulling that in. And we're going to draw the edge of the hairline in between the braids. Starting on the left, curve up, and then down. And we come down to the outside, we're going to curve out and then down towards the side of the head. And do the same thing on the right. Let's add another braid coming down the side of the head. Starting from the top, we'll go up, round this out, come down, and then just hook that in the side of the cheek. Let's do the same thing on the right. Going up, around the side, down, and then in. Let's round out the bottom of the braid. I'm just going to round this out and go back up. And then we'll taper it so it gets wider as we come up towards the side of the head. Just going to tuck that in. Let's go back in and draw on the eyebrows. Starting on the left side, underneath the braid, we curve up over the eye, and then down on the inside. We'll line this up on the right and do the same. Going up and then down. Let's curl up the inside of the brow. Starting on the left, curve in and then up. And do the same thing on the right. Now let's thicken up the eyebrow. Starting back on the left, we step up. Just follow that same curve, going up and then down in behind that brow. And do the same thing on the right. Let's fill the eyebrows in black.
Let's draw the bottom of the earlobes in between the hair and the head. So starting down here, it's going to curve down and in. Line this up on the right, go out and then up. Let's add another braid coming down along the bottom. Starting at the bottom of the earlobe, come down and bend that out. Do the same thing on the right. We'll round up the ends. I'm just going to taper that back up in behind the head. Let's add another braid coming out along the side. Starting from the left, out, down, and in. Line this up on the right, and out, down, and then in. Again, we're going to round up the bottom of that braid, and then we'll taper that back up and in behind. Now we're going to move down and draw on the side of the body. Starting on the left side, underneath the head, we'll curve out and then down towards the hip. Line this up on the right, going out and down towards the same height. Let's close off the bottom. Starting from the left, we're going to come down in the middle and then back up on the right. Let's go back to the left hip. We're going to step up, draw that same curve, going down and then up. Step down and then draw that twice. Now we're going to move back up and add the necklace with the cross. Starting in the center, we'll start with a straight line going across. Come down the sides. Go out toward the left and right. And then come down with a short line. Let's work our way down towards the bottom of the cross. Starting back on the left, we'll come in. Same thing on the right. Now we're going to draw a slightly longer line coming down toward the bottom. And close this off. Let's go back up to the top corners of the cross. We're going to curve out and up underneath the head on the left, and then the right. And then we're going to layer another necklace in behind. We're going to step out, curve down and in behind, continue out and up on the right, and then we'll thicken this up. Stepping out, just trace that curve, coming in, and then back up. Let's separate the links of the bottom chain. Starting at the top, it's going to angle up and in, We'll continue to separate the chain with these short angled lines. Let's add a curve in the center of the body for the edge of the chest. So we start on the left side, we're going to curve up and in behind the cross, and then continue out and down on the right. Now let's move down and draw on the legs. In the center, we're going to step down, draw a curve from left to right, going up and then down. Leaving a gap in the center, go to the left side, curve out and down towards the left heel. Move over towards the right, going out and down towards the right heel. And then we'll round out the bottom of the feet. Starting from the heel, we're going to come down and then pull the foot going up towards the toe. Do the same thing on the right. Now I'm going to go back to the left side and draw the top of the foot. From the toe, we're going to curve up. I'm just going to bend this down, aiming towards the heel, stop right about there. And then I'm going to bend that back up towards the inside of the leg. Let's do the same thing on the right, going up toward the top of the foot, bending that down, and then going back up towards the inside of the leg. Let's add a thick sole along the bottom. We're going to take this curve, step up from the toe, and just trace that across towards the heel. Now we're going to move back up to the hip and draw on the side of the leg. Starting from the left hip, we're going to go out. Round up the leg, and then come down and in on top of the foot. Let's add a strap across the leg. Starting on the left side, we draw a curve coming down and then up. Line this up on the right, and do the same thing. Now we're going to step down and draw that same curve from the bottom of the strap. Let's draw the end of the strap on either side. Starting on the left, out and down. I'm just going to flatten this off with a straight angle line. And we'll follow that same curve going back up and in behind the leg. Just take that and flip it over on the right. Out and down. Flatten this off. Go up and in. Let's move up and add the pockets. Starting on the left, we're going to draw a straight line coming down. we we'll do the same thing on the right. And we'll go straight out toward the side of the leg. 
And then we'll add a pocket on the side of the leg. Starting from the outside of this line, go out and down with a short angle line. Follow the same curve of the leg, coming down just up above the strap. And then we'll angle down and in on top of the strap. Now we're gonna add a little bit more detail to the shoe. Let's start on the outside at the toe, curve in and then down towards the sole. And the same thing on the right side. And then we'll add that Nike swish. Starting from the top of the heel, come down at an angle, and then hook that up. Now from the top, we're gonna to take this around and then back towards the heel. Let's take that and flip it over. Starting from the top, angle down and in, and hook that up, round this out, and then taper that back in. Now I'm gonna move back up and draw on the arms. We're gonna start halfway down the side of the body. Starting here, we're gonna curve out and down towards the wrist. Line this up on the right and do the same thing. Let's go back to the left side and draw on the thumb. From the wrist, we're gonna draw a half circle, curving in and out. At the end of the thumb, we'll draw a bracket. Let's do the same thing on the right. Draw a half circle, and then we'll add a bracket. And then we'll add three fingers on either side. Start from the bottom of the thumb, come down and up around that bracket, step down, curve down and up the second finger, and then the third finger will start out here, curve out, and then pull this up, and then in behind the bottom of the head. Do the same thing on the right. Start with the first finger, second, and then the third going up and in underneath the head. Now I want to add one more braid coming down and in on top of the arm. So let's start on the left side, curve down and in, we'll round this out, and then we'll taper that back up underneath the head. Let's do the same thing on the right. Coming down and in, rounding out the bottom, and then tapering that back up. Now I'm going to add some simple random patterns for the tattoos along the top of the arm. Let's start on the left side. I'm just going to randomly add pattern going across the arm. Just adding a little bit of detail as I go. I'm going to do the same thing on the right side. And I'm also going to add a couple rings on the second and third finger. So let's start on the inside, go down and up, step down, draw that twice. We'll do the same thing on the outside finger. And that's pretty much it. There's a Travis Scott skin from Fortnite. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. Make sure you subscribe and send me your requests in the comments below. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again soon.